It is instructive to note that arising from his personal conviction, as well as the outcome of his consultation with the NMA, Governor Elichi has taken practical steps to improve the healthcare system at the grassroots. To this end, the state government has instituted a policy of extending financial grants to grassroots-based mission hospitals to boost their operational capacity. Already, the state government has given a total of 300 million naira to six mission hospitals in the state in three tranches. These are Mata Misericordia Hospital, Afipo, Presbyterian Joint Hospital, Uburu, Mile 4 Hospital, Abakaliki, Sudan United Mission Hospital, Izi, St. Vincent Hospital, Ntubia, and Rural Improvement Mission Hospital, Iko. Remarkably, such financial stimulus package is already yielding the desired fruits as their capacity improvement has led to a corresponding improvement in their services to the rural dwellers. We've never had it so good. In fact, uh, the amount of money we are giving actually overwhelmed us. Uh, we've never, it has never happened like this before. Uh, the first was 17 point something million. In fact, three times last year we got 17 point something million. And then this year again, we've uh, received uh, 16 point something million. The wisdom in this exercise is that when the chips are down, a sick person is chiefly concerned about getting a cure at affordable cost and not whether the hospital samples bear a government or private emblem. As part of the diverse contributions of the wife of the governor, Mrs. Josephine Elichi, to the overall success of the present administration, the concept and implementation of the award-winning mother and child care initiative, MCCI, have greatly boosted healthcare delivery in the state these past two years. Supported by the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, the United Nations International Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF, and recently, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, the MCCI has given a new impetus to the cause of safe motherhood, girl-child education, youth empowerment, care for widows, and the less privileged, and support to people living with HIV AIDS. To give teeth to the war against the scourge of vesicle vaginal fistula, VVF, the governor's wife spearheaded the establishment of a specialized zonal VVF repair center in a Bonny State University teaching hospital, Abakaliki, the first of its kind in southeastern Nigeria. The center was commissioned with fanfare on Friday, the 5th of December, 2008 by the First Lady of Nigeria, Hajia Ture Yeradoa, during which she paid glowing tribute to Mrs. Josephine Elechi for her vision and sensitivity to the plight of the less privileged. The of the first ever and the since the completion and commissioning of the center, hundreds of VVF patients from Ebony and neighboring states have already been repaired, thereby giving them a new lease of life. Furthermore, in her drive to increase the access of rural dwellers to Medicare, the wife of the governor has remained a partner and facilitator of the resuscitated grassroots mobile health clinic, which traverses the rural areas to dispense health care services to the people. There is no doubt that with the sustenance of these programs and the planned rehabilitation of the general hospitals across the state, the health care delivery system will remain on the upswing.